We need more media. And everything that the previous speaker spoke about, I agree with them 100%. Media is the most important thing in this struggle that we are waging now uh, against the oppressive racist practices in our community, right? The police, they fear the camera more than they fear the gun, right? They fear the camera more than they fear the gun. The young kid they just killed in the Bronx, uh, <laughs> you know, they had, to, they had to drop them charges because the evidence was incontrovertible. Once you looked at that video and you saw the police kicking in this door, shooting this kid down, and it's fool. You know what I'm saying? That evidence was, you know, irrefutable. The other boy, young man that they beat like, um, oh, like Rodney King. The evidence was irrefutable. You know, they couldn't argue with that. So they dropped those charges. Right? And so they sent us a clear message. What we need to do, and I, 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 I hope to be talking to the members of CMOTAP about doing, is developing citywide, statewide civilian reporters, right? I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I have a vision of in, engaging all the journalism schools in the city, NYU, Columbia, CUNY, you know, wherever they have a journalism school, we want to try to connect their students with this project, turn them out as, as civilian or citizen reporters, and then flood the streets of our community with them on Fridays and Saturday nights with NYPD thinks they out on safari in our neighborhoods, right? And I think this, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little appalled at having to say this, you know, but uh, the people in our communities have literally drank the Kool-Aid. They have walked through the poppy fields and they have fallen asleep, right? And they have become desensitized. They reach the, the, the point of learned helplessness when it comes to responding to the type of oppression that's that's needed, you know, that's 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 that's. that's uh, uh, practice on us on a daily basis, you know, and we got to wake them up. We got to show them, man, that that policeman in that uniform is a human being. He eats, sleeps, defecates, urinates, and he will die just like any of the rest of us, right? He's nothing special. That uniform doesn't make him special, man. That title doesn't make him special. You know, you have just as much value as he has. You understand what I'm talking about? And we need to begin to demystify you. That, you know, these, these, these authority figures, you know, mayor, he's just another human being, man. Right? And we have to get, sometimes we have to get beyond, eh, I'm not gonna raise that issue. <laughs> But the Obamas of the world, you know, the gatekeepers, you know, that, that, uh, that, that are not working in our interests, we're gonna have to call them out. You know, it, 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 it comes a time when we're gonna have to speak truth to power, you know. And our political representatives, you know, they just passed a law in the state legislature where they can, take DNA from everybody that commits a misdemeanor. They started out with sex offenders, they went to violent felony offenders, then they went to all felony offenders, and now all misdemeanor offenders. And 90 something percent of the people that come through the criminal justice system look just like me and you. So what are they gonna do? They gonna go to Harlem Hospital and start taking DNA from our babies? You know, so we, they have to begin to, uh, you know, we have to begin to hold our political representatives' feet to the fire, and we have to begin to build this grassroots media, you know, because we keep talking about, you know, our need for media. You see what they did to Gil Noble and what they're replacing with, you know. So we need to, uh, in our humble effort, 
with the people that I'm working with, you know, is to try to build this medium. So what I'm trying to do now is, is create a collective of citizen reporters that will flood the streets of Harlem one weekend, the next weekend, Bedford Stuyvesant, the next weekend, South Bronx, you know, so that we begin to, to let the people in the community know that they need not fear, man. You know, our, our biggest enemy is fear. They need to get out there when they see somebody in the community stop. They need to stop, pull out your camera, or pull out your cell phone, even if you don't have a camera in it, and just stand up there and watch. You know what I'm saying? Today you're saving their life, tomorrow they may be saving yours. You know? And so we have to spread this out in the community. This is the kind of media that we need. And then we need to develop a site where we can put up all these pieces and the people in the community can come and see and know what's really going on in our communities. We got to shake off this fear, man. We got to shake off this apathy. You know, we have to, we have to uh, abandon this. It's time for action.